guys, welcome back to Trending on Eniola Badmos TV. Well, in our society, when you try to help your wife by cooking for her and all that, they tell you you are a woman rapper and all that. But um, in the true sense, uh, husband and wife should complement each other. Remember your vow. You promise to love her for better, for worse. So you are one flesh. So, I mean, it is an act of love for you to collaborate with your wife and then what, what what stops me from cooking for my wife she's she's the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh i shouldn't be ashamed so uh positive things that happen in the marriage uh, we share we share we share the glory together we share the benefits together so it is an act of love and sacrifice for you to help your wife in the kitchen i mean by helping your wife to cook does not mean you are weak. It shows that you really love her. And then, if 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 she if she also does um, the same thing, the same thing for you by washing your clothes, helping you out on some course, the marriage will be very very strong. So it's it's not a weakness on the part of the man. That's my opinion. Some people have other uh, opinion, but that's my own opinion. I love my wife, I love my family. Should a woman cook for the husband and still serve the husband? Yes, a woman should cook. A woman should cook. We, in the African setting here, our women cook and they serve us. We, we, are, we don't know the Europe. It's just that the Europeans are forcing their way of life here to us. But in the normal Af African setting, a woman cooks the food, prepares the food, brings the food, serves the husband, and uh, my own mother will take water, uh, allow my father to dip his hand into the water, sometimes even help my father to dip his hand. And uh, my wife, I have, follows suit. She uh, sometimes, not sometimes, almost time especially, when we want to eat our traditional food like gari, is only when we want to eat the white man food like uh, rice. I believe the white man, um, the, the white man food is uh, rice and uh, spaghetti. She doesn't serve, but anything that has to do with our African swallow, she brings the water, carry it. She won't drop it on the ground and help me to even wash my hand. A man and a woman are just two people that feel they are compatible to live happily together. It's complimentary. If your wife is sick, it does not mean that you're supposed to say, okay, you're supposed to cook and then you tie her down that she must cook for you where you can help her. It's not a problem. If your wife is uh, actually um, down and she cannot cook, you should come up and help assist your wife. It's not a problem. But yeah, if the woman is not actually, she has a, there's time and opportunity for her to do that. And then she's standing out that, no, I'm not supposed to do that. That's when it's wrong. You understand? A woman should cook for the whole family. You understand? But not that she's solely tied to cooking for the family. Remember those days now, our mommy them, if you look at their marriage then, there's no issue of divorce, breaking home, as of what we are witness today. Because the respect, the humility, the practice in marriage is not like in our day. Are you getting me? Serving your husband does not take anything. It's a respect for a woman to serve her husband, give her a deserved respect that he needs. Now, being a wife or being a neck does not mean that you compete with a wife, no. You are there to compliment with your husband, not to compete with him. Are you getting me? You are there to compliment, not compete. It's not a competition game that you say, okay, I'm the neck, I have my own right. So let me, I'll have to, this. no, 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 no. You are there to compliment, not compete with a husband. So serving your husband does not take anything from you. That's the respect he deserves as the head of the family. Any of the party can do it. I'm a married man. I cook for my wife. My wife cooks for me. So anybody that serves each other, we will cater for one another, okay? So it's not... A, a, a woman can cook and serve you. Why not? 
You understand? But the man should not see it as a right. Maybe employ a cook. If you are looking for a cook, go out and get one. You know, civilization have uh, turns things around. In a normal circumstances, what is the duty of a woman? Is to care for the wife, for the husband rather. If the husband, it depends on the understanding between two of them anyway. But on the normal circumstances, if the woman is free enough to do it, he can do it. But if he's not free enough, it's not that maybe it's an obligation that this one has to, it's a compulsory stuff that you have to enforce on a woman. Where I came from, if you serve your husband food, you stay till the man finish meal, his food, before you leave the man's side. But now this day you are just tell the husband your food is in the kitchen, your food is on the dining, who, who serve the food doesn't matter. It still depends on the understanding of both uh, spouse. And secondly, is, is there's another thing that when you forget the purpose of marriage, every little thing brings disagreement. When you forget the reason why you are into marriage, expectations begin to, to destroy the marriage. So if a, if a woman serve, is a woman cook, it's not compulsory that he has to serve, but if he has the capacity to serve the husband, you know, it's just for you to get there, you know, for, for you to make your husband to love you the more. If the husband loves it when you serve, I will encourage you to do it so that you can gain the love of that man more. That's all. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm sure you are, you are going towards uh, what uh, Pastor E. Adebuye said as regards that, well, that's his time. Now it's quite different. It's quite different. So I wouldn't say it's uh, necessary. But though it's the ideal thing to do anyway, but it's not necessary. That's the truth. To me, every home, if you cannot cook, then you get someone that will do it for you. But it, there, is, there is a problem there because one day, because man like, it, not even man, everybody likes to be served. Then when the man sees that, okay, it's this person that is serving and is enjoying the meal, as in you are sharing your love with the other person. That's what I say. Enola Badmos TV, entertainment with our No, no, no. Marriage is, is not supposed to be slavery. Marriage should be an enjoyable thing. So, uh, anyway, culture plays a part in marriages. But then, things are changing. And so, these days, by uh, marrying a wife does not mean you are having a slave in the house. At a point, you have to assist your wife. So I don't see marriage as uh, a slavery thing. So it should be a thing of joy. Yeah. If a man calls himself the head of the family, it is uh, a right and a privilege uh, ordained and destined to him by God. So man calling himself head of his family does not mean he's enslaving his wife. What, where the enslavement comes, is uh, uh, the, the, the actions, the, the, the way he handles the wife, that is where the enslavement comes. But man calling himself the head of the family, uh, is it? It is it. He is the head. Nature has made him the head. Well, based on my religion, you understand? Uh, my religion stipulated that the man is the head of the family, and then he's supposed to take a wife as a helpmate, not, not, enslaving, not enslaving the wife. So typically what it means is that... Uh, a man is supposed to be the head of his house and then the woman is like a support to the man. So not that the woman is getting enslaved. Nobody is enslaving each other. You understand? Okay. So it's practically that the man and the wife come. The issue is that as a head, we have a neck. And I believe that neck controls the head. So women have her own opinion as a wife. To as an impact to contribute to a family. That does not mean that as a man you have to enslave a woman. No, 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 no. Give her a room to make a decision for the progress of the family. Give her an opportunity to display her knowledge, her understanding. Are you getting me? Don't be a wife does not mean that you, are, you enslave her. No, 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 no. You can't enslave a wife. It's a woman, it's a neck. Neck and head work together to make a head 
become perfect. So that is what I just know. Um, if a man should call himself the head of a family, that does not mean he's enslaving the wife. Um, the word, that is not a title. Head of a family is not a title. Head of a family is just a sign of responsibility. Okay, I'm a head of a family. I know the responsibility it takes. Like now I'm going out. I'm trying to fend for my family. So it means that um, if I say I'm the head, that means what does the head do? The head thinks for the family, reason for the family, carries the responsibility you know, of the entire household. Okay? So that not, it does not mean he's enslaving the wife. The wife originally from creation was created as a support, you understand, to the man. The major responsibility of the household is, is that of a man. Um, well, I know some folks of women will be advocating from some ends, okay? That uh, uh, a man saying, ah, I'm the head of. The way a man says, it, it depends on how the man puts it. If I say, I'm the head, I'm the head, you understand? It somehow shows um, a kind of a bossy superiority, you understand? That person that is saying, um, uh, doesn't really know why he, God put him there at the, at the first place, okay? So that is not an enslavement. It doesn't mean enslavement right? because it was originated from the Bible. Because the Bible said that a man is supposed to be the head of the family and the wife is supposed to submit. You cannot make your wife to be a slave because you have to give the order. Even if your wife wants to do anything, you have to consult the husband. Uh, my people, this question now broke me go use. So. Anyway, if um, a man is the head of the house, it don't mean say make the man as, um, enslave the woman because even for abroad, woman self gets equal rights with man. But in Nigeria, yeah, now they, they thought say a uh, man must be the head of the home. Before you know it, the man go say now na, na me be head of the house. He go call the beat the woman. They treat the woman badly. It's not supposed to be like that. Woman supposed to get equal rights with man. But now they hear me so. So, uh, if, but I know say woman get bad bad mad because sometimes woman they go make man vex when man go want to beat them or treat them bad. But you're supposed to understand, say, as woman, God all create us. Make we take care of the man. No matter what the woman even do yourself, all you need to do is just to walk away. You don't need to start exchanging words with women because we are women and that's the way God created us. So, in essence, is that I'm talking is that woman we not say on a get bad matter, but man self supposed to understand, say, now so women be. No matter how it be, women. Supposed be like egg, be like queen for where on a day. And I'm not supposed to treat too much, but even though I'm the head of um, head of the family, because now woman self now ain't born man, I still bring man into this world. You now understand so. So what are they talk? We say make man they treat too much with care, make it they take care of woman. No matter what the woman do you make you pamper and take hands. Like, even though woman they they vex for you say he won't even. Um, correct you on scatter the house. All you, what you need to do, maybe you just walk and live out. Before you go come back to the house, the house go down settle. Everything go down calm down. Because woman anger know they last for, for long. Once she does the vest like this, just alarm and make she vex. Before you know her, go come, she go come back to her right sense. Now she go overcome. Can't even apologize to you. Call you her honey, my love. I, I'm sorry. So now so woman just be, you don't need to enslave woman just because now you be head, head of the family. You now understand. You don't need to ens ens um, enslave the woman. So, men, woman, to make una they submissive to na husband. No, 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 no. They allow man. They fish say una they cheat or una get one cockroach for a cupboard. Una get co um, cockroach for na cupboard. Or make the man they talk. Make you they, they over they talk or they over they do. At least when the when your husband they talk or your boyfriend they talk, try to listen to Ram. Try to calm and down. Because one thing for a man, a man don't like a woman to be above above him. Because if he if he weak, if man they talk and you say if they talk, he go in go they vex. So what you supposed to do if man they they talk, you just calm down and listen because two wrong cannot make a right. So one has to be quiet for the other one to 
to talk. So two angers, if two angers they and jump together, I go catch fire. So what are they talk? We say make if the man they talk, make the woman keep quiet. If the man they if the woman they talk, make the man learn how to to keep quiet and listen. So that at least so that the house not go catch fire. Now I make me they talk this one. One, uh, if a man is called the head of the family. From the perspective of the religion that I belong to, I'm a Christian. And uh, the Bible said that the man is the head of the, of, the, of the wife. So if he has authority over the wife, what it means biblically is that the man is the head of the wife. He's not enslaving. It's what the religious practice says. And that is what God says. And if it's what God says, I don't think... The Bible said the woman should submit to his husband and the man should love his wife. So if a woman, if a man loves the wife, does that mean that uh, the woman also cannot love the husband back? No. The truth is, what the Bible says is that the man is the head of the woman. The way Christ is head of the church. So that's my own view about it. Thank you. A man doesn't... Uh, because of his um, the, the head of the family or, or the head of the house, enslave his wife. Because the Bible said in Genesis precisely, when God made man, he made a woman as well. So there is that equality. So if you are saying that because of his head, he has to make the, the woman, you know, more, more of a slave, that's, that's really wrong. It's wrong. When a man called himself head of a family. I believe it's God that have already destined it. So, and again, the man is supposed, to, the woman is supposed to be submissive. So when you are submissive, it does not mean that you are a slave. You, you have your own duties to perform and the man to have his own duties to perform. So it's like, more or less like the two of you are, you are doing your own kind of, as in this one is doing his own responsibility, taking, carrying his own responsibility and the woman to have his own responsibility. So there's no slave here. Hi wonderful people, my name is Amyola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Amyola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that there's pandemic in the land. We need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands. We should use alcohol-based sanitizer. We should maintain social distancing. We should use nose masks to be protected. Above all, guys, let's stay safe. That's it on trending for today. Many thanks for staying here on Eniola Badmos TV. Remember to like and subscribe as we bring you more stories during the day.